Good morning, YouTube. Um, I know this is my second video of the day. Uh, but, um, you know, this is actually the video that I wanted to make this morning. But, you know, the political situation couldn't help myself. And by the way, uh, the political situation is actually starting to stabilize. Uh, uh, so, uh, that means that I can actually start... Uh, paying attention to um, subjects that I actually would rather pay attention to. Hence this video, which is about wireless electricity. <laughs> yes, um, I came across some information, oh, what was that, oh, um, about uh, this company that uh, VIZIV Technologies has a pilot plant uh, down in Milford, Texas, and they've built a tower uh, to broadcast electricity. Yes, to transmit electricity uh, with a limitless range across the entire world without the use of wires. Yes, isn't this wonderful technology that we had 120 years ago and only now are we starting to implement it? Thank you, J.P. Morgan. Anyway, what's in the past is in the past. The bottom line is now they've released this technology, and I'm really excited about it uh, because it's going to make everybody's life everywhere better uh, for a number of reasons. Um, because now, battery, I mean, electric cars aren't going to need batteries. Maybe something to get them through the a tunnel or something, assuming that this energy waves work the same way as radio waves and they cut out when you go, you know, in a tunnel or something. But the bottom line is is is, is that all you're going to need is a uh, receiver to access this energy. And anybody can, uh, whether they're in the United States or in Africa or anywhere. So, uh, that's great. But what's more important is that now our electrical generation facilities can be right where the resources are. Okay, so you want to build some solar uh, power plants? Build them in the Sahara Desert where it's sunny all the time. And then because the, uh, the energy is transmitted glo globally, you can just have them all around the world so there's always something generating uh, solar uh, energy and then of course no matter how remote the area is you know if it blows hard there all the time like say Antarctica put all the windmill, will, windmills up you want okay and then again if you want to go and use natural gas to generate electricity build it right next to the oil well so now you don't have to transport the stuff okay and with all of that, you tie into that the fact that Lockheed Martin is making some wonderful progress with their compact fusion reactor. In five or ten years, we could have abundant energy, so inexpensive it doesn't even have to be metered, accessible all over the world. And all you need is a receiver to access it. I don't think I need to explain that any further, do I? <laughs> yes. Isn't this great? This is going to make everybody's life better. Everywhere. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, I would have rather talked about that this morning, but the uh, political class was just, you know, far too entertaining. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, there you go. Uh... We're on the eve of a seriously transformating event, and I'm excited about it, and I'd like to share that excitement with you. So buck up. Uh, things are going to turn around real soon, real fast. Enjoy your day.